In this lecture, we will study about simple interest. Let P be the principal amount, I be the interest, A be the total amount, R percent be the interest rate per period. Now this period will be mentioned in the question and T be the number of time periods. Now simple interest can be find out with the help of a formula, a very simple formula, which is I means interest amount will be equals to P principal amount into R rate of interest into T which is time period divided by 100. After finding out this interest amount, we can find out the total amount which is referred as A will be equals to principal amount plus interest amount. Let's have a question about simple interest. Roberto deposited dollar six thousand in a savings account for two years at the rate of four percent in order to buy a car. So how much interest did he earn? Solution. To find out the interest amount, we have to use the formula of interest which is equal to PRT over 100. Substituting the values of PRT, we can find out the value of interest. Here in this question, the deposited amount is 6000 which means this is the amount of principal the value of P. Then the rate of interest is given as 4%. It means that the value of R is 4 and the time period for which the amount will be saved in an account is 2 years. Therefore, the value of T is 2. After calculating this fraction, we get the value $480, which is interest earned. Now, to find out total amount in account, we have to add interest amount with the principal amount this will give us the total amount Roberto would be having after two years in his savings account. 6000 plus 480 becomes $6,480. Let's have another example here. A finance company charges $1.55 simple interest on a sum of money which is borrowed for 5 months given that the rate of interest is 12% per annum find the sum of money. It means that the value of I is given the value of P sum of money is required and since the loan was borrowed for 5 months, it means that the time period is given as 5 months and the given and, and the rate of interest is given as 12% per annum. So one thing which is required to be noticed here is that the rate of interest is in terms of per annum means per year. but the time period is in terms of months. We will use the same formula I equals to PRT over 100 by just simply substituting the values we can easily calculate the value of P. The value of I is 55, P instead of P, the value of R is 12, 12% 12 per annum and the value of T is 5 over 12. Why 5 over 12? Because the rate was in terms of per annum means per year. So therefore the time period should also be converted in terms of years. So, 
so in order to convert months into years we have to divide we have to divide months by 12 now after calculations we get 55 equals to principal amount over 20 after cross multiplication 55 will be multiplied with 20 we will then get a result of dollar 1100 now this is the value of sum of money let's have another question here a bank increased the rate of interest which it paid to depositors from 3.5% to 4% per annum find how much more interest Susan would receive if she deposited $6400 in the bank for 6 months at the new interest rate. So here we don't need to find out the value of interest rather we need to find the, in, the, the difference in the interest which, which she would have received if she would have deposited her money for 6 months at the new interest rate. So again we can use the same formula which is I equal to PRT over 100. Here change in the rate is 4% minus 3.5% giving the result of 0.5%. So therefore now we have to take the value of R equal to 0.5%. To find change in, change in interest we can apply the formula I equal to PRT over 100. Here the value of P principal amount is given as 6400 in the question and the change in the rate of interest will be applied here instead of simple rate of interest which we have calculated before which is 0.5 and then the value of T time period which is given in the question in terms of months now this will be converted into years by simply dividing 6 by 12 then according to formula we have to divide the whole numerator the whole product by 100 this will give us the result of dollar 16 now dollar 16 is the difference in the interest amount which she would have received 